everybody again. I uh, hope you're having a happy New Year's Eve. Uh, you probably see this, it'll be uploaded, it'll be a new year, so happy new year. Hope uh, you have a great 2017. Looking back at my year, it's been pretty good and crazy how quick a year goes. But um, just going to give my preview for uh, the New Year's game with Arsenal included. We're playing Crystal Palace. It's going to be a tight game. It's going to be really like the West Brom, I feel. Um, I think we're going to pull through and get a win again if we can just scrape it, keep the momentum going. Obviously, Chris Palace will come in with a new manager, Sam Allardyce. Um, you know, they're going to play very defensive football, but play counter attacking football. They've got the likes of Benteke, who can uh, really cause a threat to our defence. And uh, Wilfred Saha, who's been playing very well. He's actually got a call up for the uh, Ivory Coast Premier, Premier side, I believe. So, um, you know, he's, there's, they've got some dangerous attacking options up there. But. According, you know, to past, you know, records looking back of when they come to the Emirates, it's not very good at them. It's not their best stomping ground. We can maybe, uh, um, you know, approach this game with confidence. Maybe get a two-nil win. That's where I can see it. If we get the same kind of squad, Giroud, maybe a bit more with the wings in the attack. Um, but I'm feeling positive on a two and two-nil win for Arsenal on the new season of the year. 2017. And in the other game we have Watford and Spurs. Uh, Spurs momentum is going with them. They won the last game against Southampton away 4-1. Um, I think it's going to be very one-sided again. I mean I said this last in my last video but uh, by other teams which I'll get to in a minute but I feel Spurs will, will dominate this game. They've got the stronger side so I feel I'm going to go for an all 2-0 two, two win. Maybe three. I feel two though. Two's got two, it's one minute over versus two. Um now we just give me a little chat about today. So I'm currently doing this at roughly six minutes past six. That's when I'm doing this recording right now. And it's Liverpool games on right now, they're one up they're one nil up, which I called slightly, so it's not too bad. But looking at the results here I've got my own notepad. We have Burnley won 4-1 at Sunderland, or 4-1 four, four at home to Sunderland. So that's that's a really, 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 really big scoreline for Burnley. Very, very well done to them. I haven't seen any of the goals. I want to do, maybe I might do a reaction to the goals and see that because I'll be busy now these next few days and getting around to it, but we'll see. Um, Chelsea had a great game. Actually, a very tough one against Stoke. The way my winners are 13th. Uh, win in a row uh, with a 4-2 victory over the, the Stoke team. Um, I called it to them last but I came wrong against Leicester and West Ham. Leicester got a 1-0 win at home. Uh, Manchester United came back from 1-0 down in the last two minutes or like six minutes of the game with two minute quick goals. So that's their fifth uh, week league win in a row now. So they're really moving up. Um, you know they're going to be hard to stop. I think they're going to, their momentum is keep going. Uh, next we have Southampton 1, West Brom 2. Called the draw on this one, very tight game from what I looked at. But West Brom got, uh, got that you know vital goal. And that's a very important three points for them. We're moving up the table even more. Uh, with Swansea, I knew this would happen. Bournemouth 3, you could call that. Swansea are a very, very distraught club at the moment. They're looking for a manager. Hopefully they can bounce back from that. And uh, yeah, uh, from last night also it was a very, very good draw for Hull. Um, Everton had to come back from two, tw twice to come back uh, to get a 2-2 draw. Hull played very well. Uh, good to see them play. Hopefully they can get some momentum inside the next few weeks. They've got, they've got, they've got the likes of playing at Bournemouth and stuff. And obviously they've got, you know, high levels of, uh, you know, winning mentality up there. but. See what happens. I don't mind at all. I think that was a very good game last night when I watched it. Um, over news, very big Glasgow derby. I think you might have heard this one. The old firm it's sometimes be on. Ah, you might not have seen it. It was just on today. But um, Celtic actually came out winners, two one in the game. Very, very intense game. Always is very high rivalry. Um, you know, it's 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 more the occasion what you're coming for and the spectacle for it at all but um yeah that's it really i just want to do a very quick uh, video to say in about my little views and uh what i think about the games tomorrow so i'll give it out to you and uh, i wish you all a happy new year 
I'm sure I'm going to have a good one. I'm going to come back tomorrow with my reaction to the Arsenal game. Hopefully a positive one for the new year. But apart from that, I'm going to watch the Liverpool game, which you can probably hear in the background. Hopefully there's no copyright on that. But anyway, guys, till later. Have a good one. Happy New Year. And see you next time.